Hey, what's up guys? I'm back for another review of a Bandai figure. This time it's the SH Figure Arts Iron Spider suit that Spider-Man wore in Avengers Infinity War. Now technically this suit was first briefly seen in Spider-Man Homecoming, a movie that I liked in large part because of Tom Holland, who I really think nailed the character of Spider-Man and Peter Parker not only in that movie, but in Avengers Infinity War as well. The Iron Spider is very much a modern and sleek version of the classic Spider-Man costume, with some surprising but fitting color variations. I mean, who knew gold would look so good with red and blue? This figure is an accurate representation of what you saw in the movies, with a mix of the classic costume's colors and the electronic element designs specifically the black paneling lines that crisscross the figure and are most apparent across the upper legs. I really like the giant spider emblem across the top of the body, which accounts for a good portion of the torso. Another smaller symbol is found on his back. The articulation for the Iron Spider is just as good, if not better, than the rest of this figure's selling points. And it's something that's well expected for a character who's incredibly agile and known to pull off some daring feats and poses. The head is on an extendable joint and pivoting neck so that he's able to look just about anywhere. The head is removable and that's done so you can remove the Iron Spider's eyes and put it in two variations. Bandai provides a tool so you can push the eye flaps out of the head and they stick out so you can take them out and put in the other eyes. The extra eyes are okay, but I don't think I'll be using them. The first are slightly smaller eyes, and the second pair are squinting, suspicious-like eyes. The torso articulation is broken down into two parts, with the upper torso having its own ball joint, allowing for some forward and backward bends, as well as exaggerated rotations. The lower torso can twist as well, and you can bend it back and that's not hindered at all by the belt, which moves along with the movement of the torso. The back of the shoulders can extend, giving Spider-Man more reach. The elbows are double-jointed, but are a little hindered by the suit's plates. And you've got rotatable and bending hands. Bandai gives you four pairs of extra hands, which are made up of open hands, web-slinging hands, show-off hands, and grasping hands. Surprisingly enough, the most articulated pieces of the figure are the legs. Not only are there ball sockets found in the upper legs, but the joint also allows you to pivot the leg to the side, and that really helps to get the figure in some cool aerial poses, especially if you're using that double-jointed knee. The feet are on a shifting ball joint, and you've also got articulation found in the toes where you can raise them. Bandai also provides some web slinging effects in the form of short and long web shooters. They're easily placed in between the wrist joint and the hands, and you can use them for either hand. You're also given a very long web, so you can get Spider-Man swinging across the air. And we come to the final accessory, which I have mixed feelings about. When I saw the trailers of Avengers Infinity War and the Iron Legs, I did not like that look for Spider-Man at all. When I finally got around to see the movie, it didn't really change my mind. And that's because I think the Iron Spider suit looks amazing as it is, without the legs. Having said that, I have to tell you, Bandai did a great job with the Iron Legs. They're just as articulated as the Spider-Man himself. Each of the joints can move back and forth, and there's a good number of poses you can do. The iron legs are attached to the back where you can take off Spider-Man's back piece and attach the iron legs. Bottom line, if you like Spider-Man or highly articulated figures, you're going to want to get this. I'm constantly blown away by the SH Figure Arts line in terms of how they're designed and particularly how extraordinary the articulation is. Iron Spider was one of the highlights for me in Infinity War. And I'm glad I've got this spectacular representation of him in this well-designed and highly articulated figure. I'm Otaku Surf, and I'll see you around.